Hello everyone, this is Stan Desktop Support again. <clears throat> I'm sorry it's been a while I didn't make any videos, but I'm back because of the messages that I got. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to everybody uh, who really support this <clears throat> free project. Everyone is like asking me to um, do certain videos that can help um, um, techs or IT people. So this is what I'm doing right now. Today, um, I got a lot of requests by how to do like uh, what kind of what kind of tools do you keep with you in a daily troubleshooting? Uh, for example, if something happened, uh, what do you have in your USB? What do you have in your CDs or on a shared drive that you just go and um, <coughs> start troubleshooting? I'm sorry, I have a I'm kind of sick of my voices, like really heavy today. But here's the thing. Um, just in case if someone is joining right now and they're seeing this video from the first time from YouTube, this is a course that I teach for free. Uh, it's a help the support specialist free training guide. Uh, and, uh, we have a lot of people right now. They just, um, last time I guess I did it was like 200 something. Now we have 414, which is a great thing. Um, uh, looks like a lot of people are joining in. And, um, I just want to say thanks to all these people who really appreciate these videos. Um, <coughs> let's start today um uh, here's the thing the first thing about troubleshooting get to know the tools first and for that i'm going to recommend you guys to go to tech nibble t e c h n i b v l e this is a great site and it's, it the people over here uh, are all about like you know um troubleshootings repairing and it's like all desktop stuff like you virus removing and everything like that and they're very focused on it and uh, it's always been updated so that's why i love this site every time i go there they have something new for us uh, to be to be updated for even for it people who are uh, in the it business for like 15 20 years i mean they need to be uh, up to the technology what's new what's in there that can quickly resolve issues and these are the things that can help you with the desktop side maybe servers too and they have others are not, not working and thing but the, the one that I'm really interested in is in cleanup today cleanup and tuning uh, my okay here's the thing all right so if you click on cleanup and tuning right here you'll see uh, these are the tools that they always come and write an art article about and then people talk about it and give the comments that hey i use this and it's pretty cool this was the problem and i used it blah blah so it gives you kind of idea how to use these tools so <clears throat> every technician every it person have they have their own favorite tools that they use sometimes and they'll they start liking it and they start using it so me if you ask me what do I have, uh, I'm going to share with you guys what do I have. First thing what I do is I make a share drive on my, um, um, for like, I you can make another uh, virtual computer or you can make another computer, old computer. If you have XP uh, you know, at your office and it's just laying down, why not make it a troubleshooting computer? Just upload, download a lot of troubleshooting, portable troubleshooting things and just every time any user have a problem just you go to another computer and start troubleshooting from there all right so I just plugged in my USB and let's see what we have what I have and what what I use for troubleshooting uh, there might be a lot of other people might be using different uh, tools so if you know anything good share it with us it won't hurt adding another one and testing it out let me see what okay there you go so my USB um, alright these are not the tools that I did this is basically a bootable USB that I use if there's a wireless problem or anything I can boot it from my USB and turn it troubleshoot from these portable software that's another that's gonna be another video um, not right now we're not doing that that's a little bit I would say a little bit advanced because we have to create all this stuff so how about let's go to portables and then uh, system cleaning okay so these are the things that I have right now now if it's a wireless problem I recommend you guys to download combo fix and shoot it to your 
USB and uh, to go to combo fix I'll just go through each and every tool that I have so you guys can go the same way and get it so go to your um, browser all right type combo fix and they always update this one so it's pretty good I mean I had a good success you can see the reviews are not bad it's four star right here almost four star um, combo fix download and then go to combo fix download and here is the link first link it will take you to this link right here this is the right link bleeping computer.com don't download it from somewhere else it might be a virus so you just go down and something is wrong with my cursor today For some reason I can't make it so when you run that you'll see this black screen and it tells you to wait because it's it's trying to look for if anything that it finds bad or anything that's not you don't need to use it will just kill it and then you can run your favorite antivirus whatever you use I use Microsoft security essential I like it all right once it's done it will give you a little log sheet that what it basically killed or temporarily turn it off uh, since I told you guys there's nothing in this computer so you won't see a lot so okay that's done um, let's see what we have um, another one okay so this tool I already um, made a video about um, this one if someone has an internet issue for example IP problem or they can't see the work group computers or they can't get connected to internet then I would recommend you guys to run this little tool uh, double click on it and look you can see all these click all of these and then go it will reset enter TC, TCP IP reset windsock and all that DNS clear some things in there um, it's pretty good tool uh, uh, not I didn't use it a lot but uh, if someone has an internet issue I mean I used it let me turn my phone off all right so that was for internet this one for this one is for wires and removing like you know nasty wires and stuff like that this one is for killing processes to let you work easily stinger is another one from McAfee it's a portable one so if you type if you go to Google and type stinger you will get a portable uh, antivirus um, and that just so for example if they make uh if today is 26 and they have a new update out it will be updated till 26 but if you run it on 20 28 it's a portable version it you can you have to download the whole new stinger portable again to run it and same goes with combo fix same goes with rkl so you have to keep yourself updated so i what i do is like i i updated um like um probably three weeks yeah almost three I mean I'm not very consistent but I'll I'll go there three weeks and try to like download all these like again just go to Google and type the same words you'll get it and just delete these one replace it with the new more ones so that you're up to date TFC is always my favorite um, let me open it TFC we already ran this in the other video it it removes you don't need to go through let's say if you have a domain computer one computer and you have so many users use it they make their profiles then now now all let's say 20 users use that computer and all of them went to internet or oh, all these little files they make computer like or so this what what this does it automatically goes through all profiles remove everything which I really love this software for basically cleaning a computer so if you have someone come hey I have 30 computers and all of them needs to be clean the temporary files blah 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 uh, they're kind of slow right now it's been too long can you just go and remove um, some temporary files and all that so if you sit there and try to sh clean <laughs> one by one then good luck 
it will take you I would say more than one day just to sit on the computer and finding all these files so this will go through this little tool will go through all these profiles and clean everything and reboot your computer um, your computer should be a little bit more faster and um, cleaner so I love this software I'm gonna close this one and this is a f this is from Windows um, uh, it's I guess they call it sweeper I'm not sure what they call it right now but if you run this software see it will tell you if it's expired so if you go to Microsoft download center it will tell you to uh, get a new one let's see if you go there what we're gonna get this is also really good for like removing uh, very latest viruses and stuff like that because they always update this if you type Microsoft sweeper that will take you to the direct link uh, the other one didn't took me so I had to type Microsoft sweeper and then click on Microsoft standalone sweeper this one right here let me see if it's the same one or actually no this is the basically this is the bootable version not the one that I was looking for let me see Microsoft Microsoft cleaning no, 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 no. let's see if we can find a direct link I totally forgot <coughs> okay so when I type Microsoft cleaning the one and then I click this link right here Microsoft malware malicious software removal tool protect you blah 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 it will take you to this site right here and this is the Microsoft software removal tool basically if you type Microsoft software removal tool you will get it easily than just typing all that so you click on that skip to download and then you come back here and you see these are the same thing but this is updated one when did they update it? Today is 226 and this was 214. So not bad. I mean they will update it pretty quick. So you always want to keep up, up to date with this to remove viruses and anything like that. So you download this tool, plug it into put it in your USB, and then when you go to troubleshoot, just run it over there. Alright, so what else do I have? Let's see. Oh, let me go back. Uh no, you you guys don't need this. We talked about this one, this one, this one. Arkel, comma fix. Um, D seven is the new one. Uh, it's this this tool. I haven't used it, but this looks really. I mean, I love. I kind of like it because this has so many stuff that you would definitely. I I might need it one day, probably more than one day. So if you let's say this is a portable version of D seven. So if you want to download this, just go to the just go to the Google and type D seven portable. Oh no, I'm not going to YouTube. Actually, just go to the same tech table. See, this is where the, the whole site thingy comes up. So go to the tech table and then go to the same site um, that one we went to the first time. And um, click on repair tools, cleaning and tuning. And this is where the D7 is. So if you click on that, let me see if they provided a link here. If you go down, they they talk about everything that you need to know about D7. So read this first. It will be a good idea because this is also a, a little bit advanced tool, not for just like any user. Just run it. You know, it, this can change a lot of stuff. This is a download from official site. Click on that. alright so you go down and there should be a download option in here um, let's go down and see right here from you can portable use right here you can use it this way download it from here uh, or you can go to one of these sites um, download from download.com or download from major geeks 
So once you go there, download it, and you will see this right here. You can extract that folder, and it will give you D7 folder right here. So then just copy this folder and paste it into your USB or share drive, okay? So let's go to D7, what they have right now, and um, my phone is going crazy today, but let's see. Click on D7, and let's see what we're going to get. <coughs> Now D7 has a pretty nice state. It will check everything in the beginning and activate some things. It's gathering information about your CPU. And the best thing about this, like I said, is two is um, um, portable, so you can run it from your uh, shared drive, and you don't need to like keep it with you. So the Windows installation is 252.7 days old. <laughs> It gives you like a date when it was this Windows installed and everything, so it's pretty good, very detailed. Uh, you can see it gives you your IP address, a net, it tells you connected, and um, RAM, CPU usage, and tell you about your. Mm, let's see what's this? Okay, so now what what does it have? This is information where you get all the uh, information about the CPU. Uh, and everything you can tell what I have right now every single thing uh, Low RAM tells you if maybe uh, I need to upgrade my RAM just to make it a little bit faster Problem device existing device manager just tells you about that too um, Now if you come back here These are the little bit different stuff that you can use or do with the D7 um, uh, Like I said, this is kind of advanced. You don't want to do it if you don't know what you're doing so uh, you go through all these wherever the problem is it might be a problem with some kind of like um space issue or need to recover some data and this is where you can get the data like you click on this and it will download the portable recover software and run from here uh let's say malware my, my main thing was like right here and repair thing so if you come here it'll tell you you can all you can fix all these issues with this um it, it can provide you with this one see so if you like malware bytes, you can click on this, and what it does, it will download malware like the, the app, and it will place in the D7 folders and run it from here. So if I download, if I click on now, it will download the malware bytes, and will you can scan your computer from it. You don't need to go to the sites and everything. I'm just gonna close this because start downloading it. Are you sure you want to exit? Yes, I want to exit. Repair. Um, you can do all these repair on your computer if you have a firewall issue you can rep repair firewall if you have a network issue you can do it from here um, all other things just I mean I haven't used it never tested it but a lot of people really like this and this is a new one that the developer is always updating this so I recommend you guys to if you're a technician get this uh, this might be a very useful tool for you guys okay so Finish with D7. Uh, what else D7 have? D7 has this. D7 has its own browser. So sometimes Internet Explorer might be affected by inter by viruses and stuff. You will, you might not be able to get to the you know, Google to search solutions or anything. So you can use this browser. This is pretty cool. Uh, if you click on it, you can see it gives you your own browser and you can repair your browser from here too. Uh, repair and then click on that. It will repair some of the networking stuff that then you can use your browser uh, malware scan you can go through all these other stuff I never went to so that's D7 um, this is a CC cleaner um, I think most of you would know this this is the best tool out there to clean the temporary files for users um, they have uh, just like TFC TFC will clean a lot of stuff but then you want to run this too because this is very up-to-date and it will clean some other stuff that TFC is not cleaning so if you click on it and this is not for all users so you have to be you have to use this for a user that is logged in that you want to clean their temporary internet file history cookies and the TFC might have already done these three for you but this C it goes through different stuff it goes to application what applications have the cookies and all that stuff so it, it goes in detail you can uh, repair registry problems click on all these and scan for registry issues and I can tell you I'll have it 
show you guys how much how many errors I have right now see so all these are problems right now small problems but they are okay so then once you when it's 100% done you click on fix selected issues do you want to back up changes to registry yes and then save that file and fix all selected issues boom everything you went through all this issues fixed all right other tools it has to if you if you want to uninstall stuff from here and never use this but it's pretty good you can even set this up for user from the startup so let's say if you don't want to go through this computer and clean um, these computers but you want them to be clean automatically you can go to settings and run CC cleaner when the computer starts just click on this it will always open up this won't show but on the on on the bottom like on the where the time is toolbar you will see a little uh, CC cleaner icon this icon right here will just like clean this thing will just like will go more up and down up and down and user won't notice this and their temporary files are cleaned <coughs> okay so the last tool that I use is this one this is a new one and again um, this is also a great tool and the reason why it's a great tool there's a difference between this one this is also anti-wires it can clean any wires the brand new wires that's coming out right now and this one is also so this this and this so basically the difference between these two is these two are portable and they you have to download that the whole portable like you have to go through the download and get the whole portable application and then plug it back in here to get, to get the the database updated now this one is from Komodo and once you download the portable version you don't need to download you don't need to go back and download the whole thing again it's one time thing so if I click on um, if I click on this right here this will open application right now to scan my viruses or anything and you can run this from a shared drive if a client have a problem so you click on accept and now it's you see this check for updates a new version is available so you can see this is this is even doing better for you I'm not gonna do it right now so I'm gonna close this okay so let me go back again just to make sure that I got that recording because I got confused that I paused all right so let me go back I'm gonna repeat this because I got confused um, this the difference between this is a portable antivirus or any malware this can this can scan your computer this one is portable and this one is also part of this is from Komodo and I'll tell you where to get this from the difference between these two are this is an application base this is a portable this is a portable base so once you download the application you need to go back and download the whole thing again and copy paste it in your USB this is also the same thing <coughs> okay now the difference between this one if you go to the Komodo one and download this one this is a portable antivirus or it can scan anything all the files on your computer once you double click on this one it will look for updates and that automatically picks up you can see this I can download the new one I'm not going to do that right now but now you can scan your computer uh, from the USB drive you don't need a whole antivirus with you so you can take this any computer that has a problem with, uh, with like viruses or anything plug this in update it or you can update it here and then plug it over there and then scan it so if I start scanning it, you can see it's updating wires signature database. That's the coolest thing about this one because you don't not you're not going to download the whole thing again. You just click on scan and it will update the whole database for you and do it on a computer that don't have any antivirus or any any wires issues. So once you have this one updated, you can just go back to another computer, plug it in over there, or you can even update it over there. It's up to you. Um, I keep this one on my shared drive basically and I always like just go there sometime double click on this and click on that scan and it will update the whole thing and then 
if anyone has an issue, I'll just go and go to my share drive and then run this form there. Now, some people will ask me that if you have a share drive uh, and you have a computer with a problem that has a virus or anything like that, you what if it what if the virus jumps into your share drive? Now, the best thing you can do is do not give permissions. Uh, once you log in, you take you can take off all the permissions and log in as a user at that time, okay, and run it as admin. So now, if I'm logged in as a user, I'll just right click the right click on this and run as admin right here, okay. <coughs> So once I run as run as admin now, the application is running as admin, but I did not give any rights to any users to save anything on my share drive. So uh, let's say if you're logged in from the user's user side, no files can go into my share drives. It will get bounced. If there's a wires trying to go to to the share drives, which really don't like happen all the time, but it can happen. So that's the two things you need to be um concerned if you're um, using a shared drive make it don't don't give all full rights to everybody now if you're using a USB plug that in scan it uh, scan all these run these tools but then go back and use another computer to scan <laughs> your USB that it's not infected these are the little things that you need to remember um, that's why I say that I'm gonna in another video I'm gonna show you guys how to use how to use this USB and start the whole computer from a USB not the hard drive so if you run it from this USB if there's a wires in your hard drive it will never uh, in fact it, will, it, will, it, will, it won't even start because your computer is basically dead and it's starting from your USB and it's cleaning everything it will clean every single file and you can use the same portable tools to run that hard drive run it on that hard drive and clean I think that's one of the the best way I would say 99% that it will it, you will have better results um, trying it this way and I'm going to show you this in another video how to make a bootable USB and then same same folder this folder that I have right here copy paste this into the same USB like right here see this this USB can run all these antiviruses without me starting Windows 7 right now I can log I can boot to this USB and run all these antiviruses on my computer clean everything and run this portable whatever I have right now and then your system is good uh, so I guess for today uh, this was a detailed troubleshooting things that that I use um, to um, uh, clean wires clear computers so if you have, you guys have something better than me uh, I, I bet you guys a lot of people have it so uh, on the video the comment area share it with us and I'll, I might try the next video and let's see how that works um, another thing um, do support the uh, UDMI course free course um, and that's it I guess today I was really sick today so I'm sorry for the voice and the delayed videos but I'll be making more pretty soon so thank you so much for watching Dan the stuff's boat